Hello Doraemons! Welcome back! So for this video, I have the most most interesting video because we have seen a lot of solution videos and uh, for different Python, Java and Unique. So from that, I have like figured out some of the repeated questions which is getting asked again and again in the Nayari questions and there are some similar patterns which are getting repeated again and again. So instead of learning like all the questions, if you get to know only that patterns and that would be a lot more easier for you to solve same type of questions and uh, you might get a clear idea and clarity of how the questions are segregated and how they are asked and you, you may even predict what question you may be getting asked with the next ira or so so we are going to start with that uh, repeated question video right now and let's get started so to get started, I'm here with our homepage of our Code Doraemon channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you subscribe. And I have a lot of interesting video for you guys. So I'm just clicking on the video. And for like getting started, you have to go to our website so I can show you like all the other questions which is getting asked in the previous IRAs. So this is our official website and here you have to go to this is IRA questions and you have all the four options of MCQs, Python, Java and Unix. Let's go for Python. So for this video, we are going to look into the different questions and the similar patterns as in Python part of SBQ. So we I have segregated these questions into three modes. First is easy, medium and the tough mode. So first let's get to see about the easiest mode. So for the easiest one, I have the chosen the question which is asked on like 28th of February. So I'm just going to show you what is asked on 28th of February. So just load more, you will get a lot of questions. So this is the question which you have been looking for. So just click on the this link and this is the question which is asked on 28th February 2022 which is asked on February month. So as of now no recent easy question is asked. So this is the easiest question which is asked in the previous ARAs. So what is asked in this question is they will have given a set of inputs like some dates and a person's name and like the same and they have given like hi so what you have to do is um, for this output for if they have given number as one so if the number is one uh, then you have to print like medium and if it is greater then you have to print like high 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 like you can see here three one and two and you have to arrange them in order two and for the high like whichever is high you have to like others you have to print as like is shown here over here in the medium except for the medium you have to print all other as closed and the one which is medium then you have to print open so this is the pattern and i also explained this question in a lot more detailed way in the video provided in this blog post so make sure you check out and subscribe to my channel it will support me a lot to provide and bring you a lot and lot more videos like this so this is the easiest question which you can get in a python sbq part and for toughest question i have got two questions which is asked first one i'm going to take is on 10th jan so it is a lot more below let's go down to it and i have chosen one more from 3rd jan so let's first look into the 3rd jan question so 3rd jan question it is asked so i'll show you the sample input and output so that you can get the point clearly so in this why i'm giving it a medium rating is because you will get a set of object list and also with that you will also get a dictionary of values like this so here this sunita faculty 23000 and they have given the loan details like there is only one single element in this dictionary so this dictionary is given inside the object list itself if you see for this part second set of input our own programmer 30,000 
and he has one type of loan assured which is personal loan and the amount for the loan is 4000 and when you see to deepak his destination his salary he has two type of loans which is travel the amount is 10000 and another one is personal the amount is 5000 so this uh, dictionary is in in incorporated with the, the object structure itself so the input part will be a little tough when you're getting the input but once you get it you can handle it easily and in the end like they've given some values like some names and they told to give they have also given one uh, loan type and loan amount and you have to embed that to the object list so that's what here it is so they have given tarun so you have to like add print his all the loan types as you can see the name tarun here and the loans he have currently is personal and travel and after that uh, they have told to add this home so now it is also additionally printing home after you adding that to the list and they have given like one more dictionary a small dictionary which represents the loan types which is already there and they have also given like one more dictionary programmer 30,000 for faculty and analyst this dictionary will be used for this one so how many like programmers are there still like that so they have asked her like how many programmers and faculty and analyst is there in the entire list so these are some of the complicated questions which you can get in an IRA so there is a dictionary embedded into the object list itself and apart from that you have two separate dictionaries in this part this right here so these are some of the toughest questions which may confuse you a lot but i think they have solved this question is all also in the solution videos of code doraemon make sure you check it out to understand how it is like added and if you want to solve the question is already there you can solve it by using these questions itself so try solving it before looking into the solution video so this would give you a lot more idea about this and one more thing i've chosen is 10th jan question so let's quickly look into that also so that you can see in another dimension of how it is asked so i'm going to till 10th jan yes here it is so the 10th jan question here it is a little more different so this is related to courses and everything so let's move on to the sample input and output so for this one they have given like four set of values will be given and they have given the course type the instructor name the fee and what are the subjects they take and what is the date of starting of that course and whether the course is online or an offline mode so like that they have given the details here there is no dictionary embedded into the object list but it is given over here in this place so for here you can see john 8 tim 7 andrew 9 and this is the ratings given to the particular uh, instructor for a particular course and they've given like three values to you and they have told to find uh, the online courses first so whichever mode is online you have to print those courses so here for the first one itself it is online they are printing the value the name of the course and the amount so here it is given in integer and here it is like printed in float so you have to do the changes and they have like given 2021 so 2021 in the sense it represents the date so you have to add the amount of the courses whose course start date is after 2021 or in 2021 so here there are two 2021s so you have to add 550 and triple nine and you will be summing up here so this is the output so there is one simpler part which can be asked and the other one is a little more complicated but it is also like given medium one only so now moving on to the toughest one so for the toughest one i've chosen like three questions uh, which you may get easily so first one is 7th march i've taken this question as like a little tough because this is related to the asserts and yeah 
so here it is like checking the dictionary a lot more number of times so instead of not just only getting the dictionary uh, in the previous questions you get dictionary and you have nothing to do with those dictionaries it is just simple one comparison or two comparison but here in this type of question you have to like add something to the dictionary and remove something from the dictionary like that that will happen so here this is uh, easiest tough question like the model is the part of tough question but it is easy so here they have given like four inputs they have given some number uh, an id so it is related to assert allocation if you are joining like tcs or something or any company the assets will be alerted the laptops will be given out so for that purpose only this program is designed in that way so they have given like uh, the assert id the a certain name and the person who it gets allocated to and like that they have given like four set of data and they have given like past the people who are not yet allocated or given the names of the people who for the asserts are going to get allocated and they have given past one assert type as desktop so what you have to do here is you have to count it and you have to find whether these names are available in this allocation list and if not you have to like allocate them and there is some criteria to allocate this so here they are given like desktop should be considered first and uh, the laptop priority second like that they have given and also shall solve this question which is also available in the blog post so make sure you check it to learn about in detail and once you learn about it you will understand this concept very easily and for the toughest question i've chosen another one which is 21st march so this is also more similar to the last one which is getting dictionaries so here so the last one is complicated in logic here it is a little more complicated even in the input and also in the logic so here they have given the land id land name and the worth and some again the id land worth and the space is available and they have given the registration year for each of the ids and they have asked for one of them to print it so for they have given like one land id and you have to like print the respective amount or something and then they have told you to find the price or the list of the asset so all of these you have to concentrate on the logics given over in this places so it is complicated in a logical way not in the input way so if it is in the input you in only in the input part it will be a little bit difficult but whereas in logic part the logical part the main function will get difficult as you can see here the property registration number should be given and the taxes should be calculated and there are like different criteria if it is less than 2 years then the minimum of 5% should be get and if it is greater than 1 then 5% of for every year should be calculated like that it is complicated in the logical manner and i think uh, this will be available in the blog post too because i have not added it here but i've solved it in the channel make sure you check it in the channel part so yeah and one of the most most important questions which i have chosen is of 9th december so this question is very very similar to the question which is asked in the last ira which is of 3rd may so let's see what this question is i feel like this exact question is asked in 3rd may but only the output varies so this is the exact question which is asked in 3rd may which is the last ira so they have given the same input card number name of the card holder name of the bank all everything is same and they have passed like one more this dictionary is inside the dictionary so it is a set of dictionaries passed inside the object dictionary itself it's very complicated in the input part also and also in the logical part so this is very very complicated question i didn't solve this yet because i i have left it to you guys to solve those and uh, this question is the most most important but 
uh, what happened in this part is as you can see here they will give you a bank credit card number and the holder and the bank and the date and they will give you the initial amount and uh, the amounts the higher limit and the lower limit and here they have given three which is the set of these dictionaries so they have given like two items will be there in the dictionary and the credit score for those purchases through the credit card is two and again like two items will be given in the grocery and supermarket and they will give the credit score as three common for both and here again like three will be given hotel fuel and medicine and like the amount the credit score will be given like that and it is applicable for every credit card so you'll be getting the same for every single credit card and you have to like find they'll be giving in the end they'll be giving you one expense type and the date so you have to like print uh, check which card is suitable for this one and you have to calculate the reward points and they'll be giving some reward points for every thousand rupees or every hundred rupees spent so like that you have to calculate and after doing that here they have asked you to print the initial and the, the final amount after deduction like after spending on and in the recent third may they have asked only to like display one card number with from which the reward points are gained so this is the only difference between these two questions which is asked on third may and this 9th of december so it is very similar and it is getting repeated exactly so make sure you find this or solve this question so if in case in the future if you get this question it is easy for you to solve it and crack the area and get the 40 thousands of incentive so it is the easiest way to do it and as this question is asked in the recent IRA, there is no possibility of asking it in the next like two 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 months maybe because it got repeated in 9th December and now again it got displayed in May. So it may take a little more time to repeat this question again. But the other questions which I recommended you may repeat. So make sure you like have a look on these five set of questions and try to solve them. And if you solve these five questions itself, I think it is more than enough to solve any IRA question. And that's it. So these are the five types of question actually there is only three types and i've shown like how small small variations can happen in those three types so totally i've shown you five questions five to six questions so these are the most important question and make sure you like read through the question understand it and try to solve it on your own and i have provided some of the videos in my channel too so you can take a look of all these videos for the reference so yeah I'm going to do this series for Java and Unix too. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video and don't miss out anything. So I've already posted some of the one code videos. So make sure you watch these one code videos to solve any Python, Java and Unix questions. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I'll meet you in the next one. Until then, this is your very own Code Doraemon signing off. Keep learning, keep rocking. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye. Cheers.